Hello, I welcome to this AWS Cloud Foundations, uh, especially we are in the module 5 that is networking and content delivery. So let us go ahead with module 5 knowledge check. So in this knowledge check, we have about 10 questions. We need to answer all these 10 and then we should get at least 7 questions correct. And these questions are very, very helpful for even for the exam preparation. So let us start with the module 5. Uh, AWS knowledge check. Okay, the first question on your screen. With Amazon VPC, what is the smallest size subnet you can have in the VPC? That is a slash 28. You can have 2 power 4, that is 16 minus of 5. You can have 11 uh, IPs uh, into this vector. Or this is the smallest size subnet. Slash 28. Among these. Okay, correct. So, with Amazon VPC, what is the smallest size IP address range you can have uh, in a VPC? In a VPC, so this is uh, maximum size. Max that is slash sixteen. That is the slash sixteen. Yep, correct. So, third one. You need to allow resources in a private subnet to access the internet. Which of the following must be present to enable this access? That is NAT gateway is a must to enable to uh, get access from your VPC to your uh, internet. Okay, so fourth one, which AWS networking service enables a company to create a virtual network within AWS? So that is uh, uh, VPC, that is answer is uh, fourth one is uh, virtual private cloud. Okay. Right. The fifth one, true or false, private subnet have a direct access to the internet. No, no, no way. You have to go through NAT. Yes. The sixth one, which component of AWS global infrastructure does a Amazon CloudFront use to ensure low latency delivery? So that is edge locations. Answer is D. Seventh one, which of the following is an optional security control that can be used, that can be applied at subnet layer of a VPC? So select the best answer. So that is network ACL, network ACL. Yeah, that is correct. Eighth one, what happens when you use Amazon VPC to create a new VPC? A main route table is created by default. That is correct. Okay, the ninth one. Which of the following can be used to protect Amazon EC2 instances hosted in AWS? That is security group. Security group. Okay. And the last question. You are a solutions architect who works at a large retail company that is migrating to its existing infrastructure to AWS. You recommend that they use a custom VPC. When you create a VPC, you assign it to a IPv4 classless CADR. CADR is classless interdomain routing block 10.0.1.0 slash 24, which has 256 total IP address. How many IPs are available? So that is 256 minus of 5, that comes to 251. That is the maximum available IPs which can be assigned to the systems. Okay, so I submit. Yeah, so I, yeah. this answer is correct. So the total score I got is 100%. This is module 5 complete. Let us again meet in module 6. Thank you and bye.